Mm-hmm. Trying to see if I can promise you to stay on my bed. Nah. But nothing's gonna happen. I just wanna go on plaza. I promise you. Wait, 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 to cross. After kissing in labor, yeah, after tall simple party, after inserting your whole tongue inside a labor, yes, mouth, and she sucked it up like her favorite ice cream, you now let her apologize to Kim Oprah. Kim Oprah now forgave you. Two days later, you are now asking Kim Oprah to come and sleep with you right on your bed. I am glad that Kim Oprah just told you, no, I cannot do that. Cross is not telling Kim Oprah. Trust me, nothing is just going to happen. I just want you to just be beside me. I just need to cuddle up somebody. Can't you just go and cuddle a lebai? Or are you not aware that lebai is just alone on her bed in the blue room now? And Cross insisted. Kim Oprah persisted, no, unless you are the one that's going to come and join me on my bed. Me, I'm not going to come to your bed. <laughs> Our dear Cross did not only follow Kim Oprah into the blue room, but Cross climbed Kim Oprah's bed and lay right beside Kim Oprah. It was just the way Alex reacted when she sighted Cross walking into the blue room with Kim Oprah and also climbing Kim Oprah's bed. Alex was like interesting. Kim Oprah now stood up and now went to just climb on Princess' bed right between Prince and Alex. Alex was just about to ask Kim Opera, how did you succeed in bringing Cross to your bed? That one knew they do me. The one way they do me is the lying position of Prince and Alex. And I ask again and again, on a shall say that Prince elder sister be best friend of Alex because this particular sleeping position or they were very very romantic at a time when alex was even adjusting her hand then i screamed emotional damage because kai they just shifted the camera where elebaye is sleeping and now moved the camera back again to where cross is lying on kim Oprah's bed and now centered the camera at the center of the blue room so that i can see cross and kim Oprah sleeping prince and alex sleeping and also elebaye sleeping alone on the bed how do you not expect elebaye to feel when she now notices that the two men that she is picking interest if not the three men are already occupied with different women. Now I can only just sing this for Eleba here. Lonely at the top, lonely, 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 lonely at the top, lonely, lonely, lonely. I'm scared. I think I'm missing somebody outside my house. Quiet. I am certain that I'm not hallucinating. I no follow them club, I no follow them drink, I no follow them dance. Therefore, I heard Elebae loud and clear. Elebae just told Prince, I am scared. Then I am wondering, who can carry Ojuju Kalaba enter Biggie's house? Is there any Egugu in Biggie's environment? Which one can be say you don't get scared when doing is even lying right opposite you? I'm confusing you, right? No worry, Emma explain. And she, for the unemptied time, is not telling Venita. If you hear what I talk, will make me go and apologize every single day. Trust me, if you don't even talk to me a day, maybe months, but I know say you will still come around and forgive me. Before I officially unpack all the happenstance that happened after the Saturday night party rave, let me just quickly remind you all that I am still that entertainer with entertaining entertainment. And if this is the first time ever you are coming across my channel, Please do me a favorable favor by clicking on the red icon down below for you to just subscribe. Ileba was just pretending or acting that she is drunk. You are drunk, but you were able to have a good conversation with Kim Oprah, telling Kim Oprah that you have handed over cross to Kim Oprah. You are still drunk and you were able to insult friends back to back. That girl is just looking for a way for her to just create her usual content. When you now ask her, she will now say that I acted under the influence of an alcohol. Prince, on the other hand, is just making sure that Ilebae did not overreact or just do anything that can just attract any strike to her. Biggie's camera is just rotating around Biggie's house only for Kyrie to sight Prince and Ilebae towards the end of the kitchen. Prince is now leading Ilebae back to the blue room while every other housemate that are at the dining area was just observing what they are just doing. Prince walked Ilebae into the blue room. Ilebae is telling Prince, I am scared. I cannot sleep alone. Ilebae is indirectly trying to just ask Prince to just 
cuddle her or just tuck her in in the bed. Prince was just looking at Elebaye. Now Elebaye now enters the bed, wanted to communicate. Prince is not telling Elebaye, look at your mic before you just get a microphone infringement. While Elebaye is looking for a way to do her things, Prince understood the assignment and just left Elebaye in the room. They came in with info. I don't even care what info they came in with. If reverse was the case and we had that info, Camera moved to the garden. She, Adekule, and Venita were having a conversation, and Adekule just excused them. She and Venita now moved to the other side of the garden. She is now saying that the new husband that entered the house has been already telling them things that are happening outside the house. According to she, that one of the housemates told him that the country hates she at this moment. She admitted that he knows why the country is against him. They also informed Venita that Venita has been a bully. That one know the worry Venita. Venita is more interested in knowing exactly what she said that made the world to be against she. She is now telling Venita that I cannot just explain that to you. I can only allow you to just come out and watch the clip for you to just see for yourself. And she was like, he's not going to shy away from whatever he said. He knew that he was not supposed to say it and he just regretted so, so much. But he's going to just own up and send her apology. And according to she, that he knew that his team is doing doing series of damage control and that's like what's just happening now. Camera now moved back to the lounge. Did you know that fraud cooked over 28 pieces of mini mini noodles and everybody had a test of it. Camera now moved to the toilet. Twala Nibaj and you are having a conversation. I don't even know the source of the conversation because the more I try to listen, the more I'm not getting their point because they have been in that toilet for a long while. Neo Energy. This is a microphone in Tolani Barge. This is a microphone infringement warning. It may seem as the big brother is not even hearing what new and Tolani Barge was saying when they were in the toilet. Hence, you just have to tell them that this is microphone infringement. And realizing so, they have to just fix back their mic. Tolani Barge is now telling you, if I leave tomorrow, I'm just going to miss you. Oh, more this conversation between you and Tolani Barge, no go pass all the previous conversations they have been having each time they are just fighting unnecessarily. Camera now returned back again in the lounge. They now finally came to the garden. Most of the husbands have now moved to the garden and they are playing a very interesting game. And I have to say that I enjoyed myself. I have to say also that this game is just so nasty, naughty and erotic. I like that. And I was totally entertained. And Cross was the one that introduced this game. And everybody was happy to just play along. At the time, New joined them. Tola never joined them. She joined them. Mashala joined them. Summer joined them. The point is that the ones just walk into that garden and they now explain the type of the game that they are playing. Trust me, you're going to just tag along. At the time, maybe it's just becoming too much nasty and erotic. Prince decided to just excuse himself from the particular game they are playing. I felt Alex and Prince is having this conversation before Caillou then offers the camera towards them because all I could hear Alex saying is that I am just going to mind my business henceforth. All me I am consigned with is this their position. Oh, the way where Alex take come relax for Prince but you, the way where Prince can't take hold Alex so oh, it may seem as though it's more than I am suspecting oh, because they'll keep on telling us that it is uh, Prince other sister that is best friend of Alex that nothing is happening between Prince and Alex. Now so it's supposed to be. That's what I have to say. Moving forward, I will mind my business. So I avoid mode. I may not react to my face so my expressions will react. The way Prince is just busy listening to Alex, I pray he's just at just because Alex will never allow herself to just fight over Prince with Ilebaye. On the other hand, I know that Prince is only trying to just make sure that Ilebaye did not get herself into any further trouble. Aside that, Prince would also love to strategically insert himself in Ilebaye's story for Baye Tribe to also follow him on all his different social media platform. Whatever any housemate is doing in this biggie's house, as far as I am concerned, it is all about strategy. Now, back to the game that the housemates were playing in the garden. It was the housemate using that opportunity for them to question their fellow housemates in the name of nasty and erotic game. And let me just explain how this game is. You can just ask anybody any question, not minding how the question sound or how the question is. The person will never answer you that question, but when I ask another person or ask you back a different question. While that game was going on, did you know that don't utilize the opportunity to ask 
Mercy, how do you feel when you kissed Kid Wild? And people were also asking Tolan Ibaj, would you love to even be under the duvet while naked with Nyu? It was when they now asked Tolan Ibaj, why do you always fight over Nyu? Why do you always cry over Nyu? It was Kid that asked Tolan Ibaj that question. And Tolan Ibaj was like, because I care. Instead of having to ignore the question and just ask another question, everybody now just burst laugh. There they were asking, why well, do you just want to just go under the duvet while naked with with. And they also asked Summer, you don't do anything with Angel, why both of you are in the head of the house lodge? So why not go for your answer now, rather it will just answer another question. Imagine Perry asking Doin, when you saw my third leg, did you like it? Doin, how many times have you liked in this house? Messi, why was the kiss with kid? Why? <laughs> <laughs> You remember that I also said it in one of my uploaded video that Ike told CC that while he was by the bathroom side, that Doin and Pera were also in the bathroom when Pera was showing Doin his third leg, and Doin now reacted that Pera is a dark horse. Questions were asked, secrets were leaked. And I got to know one or two informations that Kyode is basically not showing us, just like the way he denied us the visual fight that almost happened, if not happened, between Kim Opera and Doin. I am still expressing that to happen as much as while they were playing this particular game, Kim and Doin were still asking each other questions. At the end, all of them don't return back to the room. Kim Opera and Cross were having a conversation. I wasn't listening to that because I just needed to just shoot that particular video. Oh well, in the comment section, do just share it out with me. Do you think that Prince is going to heed the advice of Alex by avoiding Ile Baye henceforth? Or do you still want any fight just happen between Ile Baye, Alex and Prince? And also, did you enjoy the game that happened between the entire house? Maybe they are also in the garden. It is absolutely okay for you to argue or agree with me. But while you are at that, 1 Corinthians 14.40 as an entertainer, it's always my pleasure to entertain you guys with entertaining entertainment and thank you so very much for watching and 